for Tommaso Ciampa. Now, Zack Sabre Jr., you've been in the ring with both of these competitors? Uh, yeah, I've had the, uh, the pleasure and, uh, on some points, the misfortune of uh, having my face smashed in with uh, Ciampa's uh, strong and uh, naughty knees. And then uh, Matthew Riddle, obviously, uh, aside from his charming nature, can obviously... Uh, rip your arm off or uh, choke you out whenever he wants. So essentially, it's going to be who's more stubborn or uh, or crazy. Or, or who's more affectionate, as uh, we're saying. Great game plan by Champa. I mean, talk about getting to the head of your opponent. You're going to hug somebody that's trying to break your arm. Get out of here. Lure, lure him in. Lure him in with a nice little hug. This is Matthew Riddle's first main event match here at Beyond Wrestling. Well, I knew they were going in deep with this match, but uh, when you bring up when you bring up professional wrestling, oh! I mean, Ciampa definitely likes to have fun, especially when he's in front of his hometown fans. Yeah, but there's that switch, and it makes it even more difficult to try and gauge him. It's mind you, games. Uh, it's mind games because you don't know when he's going to turn it on, and that's part of it. You try not to get frustrated by some of his antics, and then out of nowhere, you're getting a knee put through your temple. Yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite a pain in the ass, to be honest. But Champa can go on the mat as well. I think if uh, if people are thinking this is going to be a kind of walkover for uh, for Matt Riddle, that people could have a uh, quite a surprise. If it stays on the canvas, it's definitely going to be to Riddle's advantage the long term, don't you think? Yeah, but I think uh, the main question is when does Champa snap? This is certainly a much more uh, let's say diplomatic approach than what I was expecting, based on the history of these two. And there we see Champa. Uh, the first sign of Riddle targeting his arm. That wasn't nice. That wasn't uh, an affectionate gesture whatsoever. Well, well, I mean, his hands probably aren't too sweaty at the moment. I mean, that, that will progressively get more, uh, more degrading as these lads get, uh, get their sweat on. Oh. A single leg takedown, and Tommaso likes to go after Riddle's bare feet. What's the benefit for Matthew Riddle? Is it just something that he's used to from, uh, you know, from carrying over from his years in MMA? Or obviously they're not allowed to wear anything on their shoes, or is, you know, does it get him better, uh, better footing because he's, you know, he's right foot to canvas? I mean, what's, the, what's the benefit of that? It's just a much more natural feel having uh, having a bare foot. I mean, you've obviously got ankle support for your feet, but maybe you should show him a lure in the uh, the foot fetishists and uh, and trick them with that. I don't know. I had I hadn't considered that. Yeah. Uh, Chump has been going for them, so maybe uh, maybe he's got a little, uh, little thing for that. But obviously, uh, 
Mr. Riddle's leaving uh, quite a vulnerable area of his body open, and uh, I have no doubt that Champ is going to make the most of that. The referee's really going to have to keep. Now that's that's a bit of a more pro, more more traditional professional wrestling attack than it is a mixed martial arts strike. Yeah, I don't think that the uh, the Ric Flair chops quite made it to uh, to the UFC yet. Although it's it's getting to riddle. That's uh, there's nothing you can do to prepare for uh, getting chopped by Champa. Well. Pinpoint accuracy. And uh, I love how um, Riddle's adapting to using the uh, the confines of the pro wrestling ring. I think it's uh, wonderful. I mean, Matthew Riddle only debuted for Beyond Wrestling back in November, and I think that he'd only competed in Evolve Wrestling dating back to August, so not, not even like a full year in terms of being on like a national platform as a professional wrestler. Oh no, it's utterly depressing watching him. He's so natural and uh, bloody brilliant already that I, I try not to think about it otherwise I might, I might just give up but uh, but Champa is uh, Champa's bringing it yeah Champa's, Champa's not looking to give up instead he dropped his opponent in the hardest part of the ring yeah I think that's sometimes uh, neglected by uh, fans watching the, the, uh, the apron oh look it's at that athleticism right. oh, there we go there we go we've got the body scissor and the double wrist lock there but he's not quite got it. To the and now Champa going after the Ciampa toe. The strength. That's incredible. We saw him bring Riddle over there. the ropes and drop him head first in the buckle at go. C5. Can he do it again? Oh. Just like that, trying to snap the neck. But that's where the inexperience of Riddle comes into play. He found himself in the same position as he did in their previous encounter. He could not capitalize. Yeah, he should have seen that. But again, that's experience. And, uh, and that's, the real, that's the real key to a professional wrestler that you're able to use the confines of the wrestling ring. I think it's going to take... You know, as natural as Matt Riddle is as a professional wrestler, it's going to take him a little while longer to uh, to really kind of make the most of what you have. You know, the, the tools that you have at your advantage. Chompa had that one scouted. You hear some of the fans ringside taunting Riddle by saying, bro, I don't know if I want to pick a fight with that guy, especially now standing that close right up against the ring. Here we go, we're slowing it down. This is definitely at Chompa's pace now. He's going to buy the toe again. Here we go. Like I said, he's going to catch a riddle by the toe. Yeah, that one. Riddle, riddle using oh. his free foot and now both feet to get some separation from Ciampa. Oh, wow. Beautiful technique on that. That was wonderful. He's, get, he's getting ready. Man, just walking over his opponent, just stomping him. Stomping, that's it. I think uh, not a lot of technique involved for that. There might be a little bit of technique on this one. Lovely gut wrench, float right over. Here we go again. I think people need to uh, to realise the strength it takes to lift a man like Champa up. Oh, awkward landing for Champa. Right in the ribs, as if uh, as if you've not got the wind knocked out of you enough anyway in a match like this, and then you get. Get dropped right on the ribs. And he does it all with such a, a dashingly uh, devious smile. He's a cheeky so and so, that one. Took too oh, much there time. We go. Chop has had a chance to recover. Oh, go on, Matthew. Have a little go with the chops. Ooh, in the neck! Oh, that was, that was mean. Champa showing just how tough he is, trying to get back up to his feet after that nasty kick to the neck. You want to play Kung Fu? Let's see what you're doing. Oh, he's crazy. Who's going to give Riddle a free shot? Oh. Oh. He's going to stop Champa's heart. What, what a mentalist. I think that one caught him. I think that one caught him good. Oh, he's basing him in. Oh. <laughs> we'll give Chomp a credit. He's putting on a hell of a game face. Oh, oh. losing that flying knee. They've got the sweat. Now just stomping at the foot. That is wonderful. A rare miscalculation on a Matthew Riddle. 
When you've got two athletes like this, the, uh, you know, they, they're going at such a pace, they sweat so much, and obviously Champa tried to grab the, uh, the foot from that flying knee, but he still managed to keep hold of it. I mean, obviously you take one look at Matt Riddle, and this you know the guy takes his conditioning seriously, but look at Tommaso Ciampa, the transformation of his physique over the past six months. Definitely. Having a cut so, wait to uh, qualify for the Cruiserweight Classic. I'm sorry I cut you off. Not at all. Just the uh, Ciampa really making the most of the circumstance of this match. But this is where, uh, I mean, not to state the obvious, but by, uh, oh. Well, I think my, uh, my previous uh, query about his, uh, his liking for feet might have uh, been answered. Oh, wrestli Did wrestling rings are just disgusting anyway. I can't imagine that was very hygienic. Did you do that to Riddle when you wrestled him? No, no, it didn't really cross my mind, really, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'm gonna leave it to Chumpa. Oh, he's going back for more. Oh. Yeah, no. I like to, uh, I like to contort uh, limbs and, uh, and digits, but... I don't not. think you can do that in mixed martial arts, all right? You can't go after the toes and fingers. No, no, you definitely not. I don't think they, uh, they approve of that one. Get a different rule set. Matt Riddle having to get adjusted to it. Yeah, just, just get the ropes, mate. It's, no, it's just disgusting. I feel a little bit. I mean, it, was, it must be so really. difficult to balance as it is barefoot, never mind if you've got a broken toe. Absolutely. And, you know, the other. Uh, he caught the knee into the, uh, right into the ankle as well. He's leaving himself so open. It's not just. Uh, you know, there's the benefits to having the flexibility of no shoes, but then. <laughs> so. Oh my god! These are, these are getting it, these are taking it to Matt. I wanna see, I wanna see how he, uh, he tries to counter this, uh, this pounding going. Reversal of the whip! Oh, caught up with that cradle there buster! There we go, wonderful. That was a bit pro wrestling right then. Again, I think so quickly already, Matt Riddle, what, 18 months in, is already learning the appropriate times to make the most of, uh, of a more kind of impactful style. I think that's kind of scary. Look where he is right now after less than one year in the national spotlight. I mean, where could he be six months from now? Six months from now, you know, nine months, even a full year down the line. And he's still got time to, uh, to have a little bit of fun as well. I would not encourage Matthew to be on the apron with Mr. Champa. This is no man's land out there. I just love Riddle using chops. Ooh! That's a horrible landing in the center of the ring. Oh, I thought the complexion of your match with Jonathan Gresham earlier tonight changed when he did that to you in the center of the ring, never mind on the steel beam that makes up the frame of a wrestling ring. Yeah, it's horrible. My arm still hurts now, but luckily, I, I thought didn't, he separated I didn't catch your shoulder. It. Well, it's very likely. Uh, a little bit of tape might get me through, but Riddle landed really horrible on that apron. Now go with strike for strike. Who do you think this benefits, Tommaso Ciampa or Riddle? I think it's whoever puts the thought into it. These guys are fighting with their hearts at the moment, but if they use their brains. <laughs> oh, could see a quick pin. Oh, a backslide. That's just as wrestling as wrestling right. gets. Oh, but Ciampa's not going to break Riddle's arm. There we go. What does he call this hold? Or what do you call this hold? That's just, uh, that's just a wonderful armbar. I don't know what he quite names it, but I've seen him get the job done with it before. Yeah, Chomp has certainly incorporated that into his offense a lot more over the past couple months. I think it's a strong plan. Riddle's probably not expecting him to try and play him at his own game. <laughs> that might have done some extra damage to Riddle. This crowd wants to see a fight. I think it's a wise move for Chumper to keep wearing him down with these chops. Hoisting him up on that top turnbuckle. Well, this alone is a smart move because... Oh, I keep uh, going back to the toe, yeah, as you were saying. Oh, no, I, I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, Riddle, Riddle's not too acclimated from the high rent district, huh? Well, just, I mean, bare feet on the top rope, just standing on the rope alone with uh, bare foot hurts. Oh, uh, it's going to be looking at the air raid crash from the second rope. Oh! There we go. Oh! Baited him in. 
Riddle had that one scouted. Beautiful, beautiful. That's gonna, that's gonna have taken it out on Riddle's neck. These guys have got to be feeling like they've had a bad weekend in a balloon right now. They're back in. It's where Champa is just not thinking with his brain. But Riddle has not got that in because someone like Matthew, if he gets that triangle in, that's game over straight away. Oh, what ridiculous. Why is Champa not even trying, just picking him up? Into Project Champa! Oh my God, the angle that he just rubbed him. But in the small of the back, absolutely disgusting. But not only that, when you rebound off a of Champa's knees falling to the mat, I mean, that uh, you do not want to land like that. No, absolutely horrible. Champa can't get over to the cuddle. Uh, excuse me, get over to the cover. The cuddle, yeah, going the back cuddle, to at the start the of the match. I think, excuse uh, me. If they were wise, they'd probably start cuddling each other rather than decimating. Oh, that landing on Project Champa, that was, that was horrible with a capital O. Horrible. Referee calling off the count. Well, I don't, I don't, you know, neither of these guys are having a good time right now. I think that's the closest we've seen to get to a draw tonight, but we have to see a winner here in this match. Yeah, and the, the referee's been doing a good job of keeping this in as well. What was that combination? Oh, now the jumping tombstone. Wow, what a counter from Tommaso Ciampa. Riddle's flat down. I'm going to see if he's going to try and pivot out of this rather than trying to get the ropes. It's a unique position to be in because he's wrenching over, but Riddle's got, still got a free hand. Is he going to make it? There he is. What are we going to see? Are we going to see a clean break? Oh, Riddle well, get, Champa me, giving up on hold immediately. Maybe that's a telling sign for some of the skills of Riddle to panic that he's got to get the ropes and not, you know, try his own way out. Well, I, I thought that it was telling that Ciampa let go of the hold immediately. I don't know how much strength he had considering the damage done to his own arm. Well, he's either tired or he's actually playing by the rules. I, wonder, I mean, Project Ciampa is probably the most dangerous move in his arsenal. You gotta wonder if he's gonna stick to trying to get a submission victory over Matthew Riddle, beat him at his own game. Maybe another top rope air raid crash. Who knows, who knows what these guys? I think they're just gonna try and maim each other. We might see a potential knockout with every single one of these strikes. Oh. Ah, there we go. Riddle thinking with his brain. A little bit of brain box. Oh, kicking him in the guts! What on earth? Ciampa not, not looking to lose one of his final matches in front of his hometown crowd. Ciampa is going. In. Wow! He's got him! He's got him! Unbelievable. What a pair of maniacs. Matthew Riddle, less than two years as a professional wrestler. Terrifying. <laughs>